Greatest moment. This is why you brought me. We've had a good day of prototyping. We've busted through a bunch of different prototypes. Started the day with uh, a single finger that would come under a tote and grab on the handle. We tried a bunch of different tests for how much this handle could hold just being supported by the edge of the basket. It grabs it really nice. It's actually pretty quick and easy to align. One of the challenges is once you start to get two, three totes on top, and then maybe with a, uh, a trash can, you end up with a very heavy load and you start to bend out the plastic. So there's a potential that you could damage these pieces with using this mechanism. So this became this claw. And the idea behind this claw was that on the, sh on the long sides, we could try to get in between all the ridges, all the support ridges. You can see how it kind of aligns in between that, and then we can, if I can even do it here, lift that up, and then stack the same way. Found that this orientation actually supported a little bit more strength because the proximity of the ridges was so much closer on the totes. Those are the first two uh, prototypes for our claw gripper. On right now is I'm working on a pincher device um, that I've actually the last uh, last time I've seen this device was in 2001 which is one of the years that there was no defense um, and uh, basically what you do is you could it's gonna have a couple of arms that come from the inside and it's basically a lever uh, with a motor in the middle and it's gonna act a lot like a garage door so when, like say for instance, this is the piece, it's gonna have a couple of rods coming off on each end. Like one end here, and let's see if I can find something else to make it. Just to show it working. Just like, just like this. And they're gonna be connected to the, they're gonna be connected to the arm. And then when you rotate this out, you notice that it pushes out your, um, it will push out the end of the arm, and depending on where you put your pivot point, you get more or less motion. It all comes down to quickly acquiring a certain orientation for your gripper to grab the tote. And that's where this guy came in. These are just two wheels spinning in towards each other. They're spring-loaded on two large lever mechanisms. And the principle is that as you drive in to the tote, these wheels are spinning at a rapid rate of speed and will draw the tote in. <laughs> tried it in the game configuration, it actually worked pretty well. Um, we were pretty pleased with it. The wheels are spinning too fast right now, the spring rates aren't great. We're going to have a bunch of tweaks to the final design. We're going to try to put the wheels at an angle so it actually slightly lifts up on the tote, reducing the friction drag on the carpet. Um, so there's a lot of tweaking in this design to go, but one neat concept behind it is that you could play the game with just this mechanism. You could grab a tote from the uh, landfill, bring it over to your human player station, and let them stack a, a, uh, 
another tone on top of it and then bring it to the scoring zone. It, it could be by itself an actual feasible strategy. So the last but not least mechanism that we're trying then gravitates to a, an, a more active gripper system. So now you've got your tote aligned and we have a uh, bell crank lever design that actuates very quickly with a high gear ratio. But one nice thing about this design is hopefully if we can get enough uh, force on the clamp, we'll actually be able to grab the trash can and squeeze as well. Might be a little bit too smooth. We may need some traction material. Not quite sure on what that's going to be, but for the tomorrow morning, we're going to go ahead and activate this and uh, see where that gets us. Tomorrow we'll focus on getting these mechanisms integrated into some sort of lift. We're thinking some sort of four bar to try to keep everything parallel to the ground. And uh, that's it.